Now it doesn't matter if they are bigger than you, if they are shorter than you, or even if they're faster than you or stronger than you. If you do these four things, I guarantee you, you will have success if anyone tries to fight you on the streets, no matter if you've got fighting experience or not. And for each one of these four methods, I'm going to give you an example on this guy right here, exactly what you should do. And with these four methods, the size or their fighting ability really doesn't matter. They could be as big as Tyson Fury, as fast as Floyd Mayweather. But if you do these things, you will come out on top. But my biggest recommendation is don't fight. Try and get the hell out of there. But I understand, these situations are sometimes unavoidable. You do get stupid people on the streets that do start with you. They might be trying to mess with your family, or it might be some sort of road rage where someone stops the car in front of you, and they jump out, and they come to try and attack you. You need to know what to do, and after watching this video, you will know exactly that. Now, the first one, which is so important in all four of these, is not letting this guy know what you're going to do. If he can tell that you're going to throw a punch, the chances are that punch will miss. And if you start missing punches, that's when you could get seriously hurt. You need to surprise the guy. And this goes the same for all four of these tips. And tip number one, when the person's in front of you and they're trying to start a fight and you know there's no avoiding it, the first thing I'm going to do is put my hands up in front of me, put my dominant foot back, which is my right foot, and see, listen mate, I don't want to fight. Now this is doing a few things right here. One, it's disarming him. He's thinking now that he's the bigger man. You're the scary cat. And he's got the advantage, which is making him switch off a little bit. Giving him so much confidence in his brain. Another thing it's doing, it's putting the distance in front of the pair of you. Rather than being up in front like this, which I've seen so many times. And that's when headbutts come in punches coming around the side and it's kind of too late for you if you're in this position so straight away you've got that distance in between you putting your dominant foot back you've got good balance here and the other thing it's doing it's distracting his eyes if i'm in front of you and i put my hands up like this straight away your eyes go to me hand and that's what we want and now his eyes is on my hands i'm going to raise my hands up like this just to distract him even more. And then from here, where my hands are a little bit higher, that's where I'm going to step in with my front foot there and my back foot. But as I'm stepping in, I'm going to dip low. So it's going to look like this. Grab him both of his legs. My legs are bent here. Lift the guy up, and then you're going to slam him down to the ground. And one more thing you'll notice when I'm doing this, I'm grabbing the legs and I'm pushing forward with my shoulder. So the mo momentum of me moving forward and grabbing the legs is going to pull him off balance and tipple him over like that. Doesn't matter how big they are. This will work because you're knocking them off balance and pulling the legs away. So here's a demo. Listen mate, I don't want to fight Hansbo. Yeah, it's over. Ah! Just like that. <laughs> and he might wet himself <laughs> like this guy did. I didn't expect that. Ah. Now moving on to tip number two, I'm going to put my lovely boxer gloves on. Just like that. Now, you're not going to have boxing gloves in a street fight. I get it. But I just need to put them on for this demo because I'm going to punch this silly guy really hard in the face and maybe make him wet himself again if he falls over. Now, the same thing's going to apply with this. I'm going to say, hands up, I do want to fight. Making him switch off. And if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said it doesn't matter how fast they are. So if this guy is a really fast puncher and got really fast reactions, when I'm putting my hands up like this and saying I don't want to fight, that's switching his mind off this fight. So now I've done that. Listen, mate, I don't want to fight. This time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say something to make him switch up even more. And that is, I want to walk away. So it's going to be, listen, mate, I don't want to fight. I'm going to walk away. Then I'm going to turn. As I turn like this, chances are he's going to get confident and step forward. It's that turn and that step where I'm not really going to turn away. I'm going to fire back with a big right hook because I'm right-handed and I'm in this boxing stance position. But it's important when you turn, you don't like turn like this and then come back. You never want to have your eyes away from the person in front of you just in case something happens. You always want to have your eyes in front of them. If I'm like this, terrible position to be in, boop, I could get hit and badly hurt. So I want to keep my eyes on them as I'm turning and that's where I'm going to step and fire back with the right hand and it'll look like this. Listen mate, I don't want to fight. I'm going to walk away now. Bah! Now the fight is over, but there might be a chance that you miss that punch. Now if you do miss that punch, or like you go around the back of the head and it misses there, you've got to be prepared to throw your other hand in like this. So I threw that punch, it's went around the side of his head here. Now from here, I just want to punch with my other hand. <laughs> like that. And then bring the other one back in. So it would be like, listen mate, I don't want to fight, I want to walk away. Whoom, you've missed. <laughs> 
then throw them punches. Because if you don't, he will. But the chances are that first punch will land. And if you watch my videos and you know some boxing, the fight will be over. Now moving on to number three. I just need one boxing glove on for this because it's only going to take one punch. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to disarm this guy. Listen, mate, I don't want to fight. Same thing. Hands in front, clearing that distance. But this time I want to say, please shake my hand. Honestly, I don't want to fight. Now the natural reaction for someone to do is shake someone's hand as soon as they see the hand out in front like that. Now if he shakes the hand, that's when we're going to do the damage. I'm going to show you in a sec. But if he doesn't shake your hand, he's going to look at your hand. You'll be able to tell by the look in his eyes whether he's going to shake your hand and accept the truce with you and not fight, or he's going to look at your hand, maybe slap it away, and that's when we're going to attack. Now, if he does shake the hand with the left hand, because I'm right-handed, I don't want to shake with my right hand, his left hand comes down there. Where does this leave him open for? Right round the side here for a lovely right hook. So, listen, mate, I don't want to fight. Please shake my hand. Let's not fight. Let's not do this. As soon as the hand comes out, boom, big right hand round the side. And it'll look like this. Listen, mate, I don't want to fight. Let's let's shake hands. Let's let's not do this. Let's not do this. Boom! Oh, mate, that fight is now over. Now you might be thinking, well, Tony, that's a dishonest. But listen, mate, if you don't throw that punch, he might just be doing the same thing to you. He might throw the punch to you. If you're trying to defend yourself and you feel like you can't, do whatever you can do to defend yourself. Remember. This is the guy that's starting this, not you. Now, moving on to number four. This one is trying to do some reverse psychology and get in his stupid head that you're the man. So what I'm going to do is rather than say, I don't want to fight, I'm going to do the opposite and tell him, I want to fight, let's go. You're going to end up like the last guy who messed with us. Try and get in his head and act like a fighter. Show him that you're not afraid. Show him that you're up for this fight and that you've done it before and you're going to do it again. And again, the goal with this one is to make him afraid. So what you're going to do is get into a fighter's stance and then you're going to tell him how keen you are for this fight to happen. And it'll be like this. Come on then you stupid I'm going to knock you out like I did with the last guy. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And now I'm here hoping to get into his head and hoping he will back off. But if he doesn't back off and he comes forward as soon as he takes that step forward, Boom! Throw that long, straight, powerful right hand straight down the middle. But to know these things and have success, you need to know how to box to have success with it. That's why I created this video right here, showing you exactly what you need to know to box in just four minutes. So click here and watch this video next.